Leisure Line Stove Company presents the Leisure Line Stoves video information series. Created to provide our valued customers with expert advice, techniques, and information on the care and maintenance of their Leisure Line stoves, furnaces, and boilers. Today we're going to talk about the triple aquastat, which you see here cover has been removed so that we can see what we're looking at. We're going to talk about the high limit aquastat and we're going to talk about the plumbing configuration where that mounts, where the high limit mounts, which is this T assembly. In this case we have one for a AA220 which is inch and a half pipe and the, the T for the WL110 is inch and a quarter because of the size of the supply line. So first let's cover the triple aquastat. As you can see there's a, a probe which goes inside the well that's installed in the boiler and depending upon which boiler you have this mount might be mounted in this direction or for the AA 220 or in the case of the 110 it's actually upside down. So it gets a little confusing to read the uh, digital display. The thing I want to show you is these three buttons here. When you're going into program mode you're going to be pushing all three down at once and you'll watch for the display to change and we'll do that in a minute. You'll notice that the buttons have this one has an I, that's the information button, and then there's an up and a down arrow. Now in this case we're looking at it upside down, so actually this arrow that I'm pointing at is the down arrow and this is the up arrow. I'm going to turn it around just so you can see what I mean. This would normally be the way you would look at it if it was right side up. On the high limit aquastat, you'll notice that there's a manual dial for setting the temperature, which is turned. Normally that's going to be at a high limit, it's going to be set for around 220 to 230. There's three terminals on it. There's the B terminal, which powers the unit. There's the R terminal, which is your power coming in. And then there's the W terminal, which will be running your dump zone. And that gets installed in this T. In this case, this would sit like this in the top of the 220 boiler, right above the boiler. The dry well would be screwed into there and the aquastat attached accordingly. It's very important for this item to be installed on the boiler. Now, as far as the triple aquastat, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. So as you can see we have a display which is showing degrees F and 81 degrees. In order to go into program mode, you would hold all three buttons down simultaneously until the display changes. Now you can see that we're at the high limit location and that's set for 180. In order to change that, you just move the up or down arrows. And as I said, if it's turned upside down, as it is, it's going to look a little different. If you push the I button again, now you're going to go to the next location which is LL. In this case it comes set for 130. You immediately want to change that up to around 170. We'll set it for 170 exactly. Uh, a cold boiler does not want to run at a low of 130. Once it gets behind that will not work. These are really the only two numbers that you should have to program. If you look in your manual and you push the I button, there's low limit differential which is set at 10. There's some other settings here which you really don't need to change. So 
the best thing is set the low limit up and then leave everything else alone. Again, if it was a WL110, it would look like this. On this unit, there is a ZR terminal, an L1, L2, C2, and C1, which are going to power your circulator if you're running it off of this. B1 and B2. B1 is actually in your wiring has the wire that goes to the idle fire circuit so that's what's running your unit and then there's a ZC which if you're going to tie this into another zone control panel that's very important that that be hooked to the ZR in the zone panel so that's basically it thank you to find your closest dealer of American-made Leisure Line stoves, furnaces, and boilers, or view additional videos, visit www.leisurelinestoves.com.